Hi everybody, welcome to the messy desk. Today we are going to be making um, trees, Christmas trees, regular trees, out of things that I found in my stash. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with the one out of the felt doilies. I think these came from Dollar Tree and I'm going to show you um, one of the things I is I already had some pieces cut out. They actually were leftovers from the from another project. Literally, these are the leftovers. So if you take and you cut in from the third, okay, so you leave three spaces cut in towards the center right around the flower, you can get that piece. And then this was from a separate one, actually, but this one has five of the scallops and you come in right out over the hole. And yes, you do cut out of the flower this time. Okay. And then so that we would have another, another um, stage that's a little bit bigger, I'm going to come over here. I wanted to look, I think that if we go two spaces, we're kind of too, too rounded. But I think if we go just to the inside of this one and come in, I think we'll be able to get a good piece. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to just, I'm going to come in. And on this side, we'll go, oh, you know what? We should go ahead and angle it because we've been angling it. Okay. So that should give us just a little bit bigger. And then we want to clean up this edge here. Okay. So just clean up that edge. And that is going to give us this look for our tree. And see the hole right there? I put it so that it's in the poinsettia and here we'll put it so it's in the poinsettia you know what let's move it up a little you know what let's check and see if we like this one better nope okay i love this right here i love that look okay so there's that. And then all you're going to need is you're going to want um, something to make your the bottom of your tree. And you could use a piece of bling. You could cut off a piece of craft paper and have your the bottom of your tree that way. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab some. Let's see if we've got paper in here you know none of these are really good for a journaling card and they're double-sided well I might be able to oh wow but that would make a great trunk <laughs> that would make a great trunk for my tree okay well, I have this time card and I have this I think we'll go ahead and let's utilize <laughs> What we've got, we've already cut some stuff off of this. And go ahead and just use some glue. Put these two pieces together. And then we can journal on this back if we don't like it we can cover it with something okay can also go around and sew around the edge of this Okay, now for adding it on to the 
card, I'm just going to use the fabric, fabric tack. Okay, I'll start with the bottom one. And I'm going to give it a trunk from the bottom of this craft card just because it's right here. Okay, so it doesn't, doesn't need to go up very far. I might be able to use this shorter one. Okay. So today is all about trees. How many trees do you um, put up at your house? And how many are fully decorated? Do you do theme trees? Um, I have, well, I just did a very small kitchen tree for the first time um, because I had made some Christmas decorations that you'll see hopefully later this week on the Dear Julie Julie DIY channel. Um, made them with William, my grandson, while I was in Arizona, and I just haven't had a chance to edit the video. But I did put the tree up in the kitchen. Okay, so they're using this fun doily that I had in my stash. And you might have these you might have picked them up <laughs> okay then I have my little package of the stars the wooden stars it does have a pop dot on it that has a sticker and so there we have a large journaling card now I really do think it would be nice to go around this with um And so around the outside, I, I don't know if I'll get around to doing that. I have so much to do with the party and the sale, getting all of that done and out. And it is raining. Yay. I know. I get so excited about the rain. I get so excited about it that when my husband, it hadn't come yet here, it was it kept saying that we would have it by the time he was leaving for work and, and it didn't rain. And so he called me on the, the radio as soon as he saw rain. <laughs> okay. So there is one tree. Okay. Now I have a really fun tree. This one is from my childhood. We used to make flowers out of pipe cleaners and, um, fabric. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a piece of um, chenille stem or pipe cleaner. And we're going to come up with about an inch and a half. And then we're going to fold it over. And then where these two meet, you're going to go ahead and give it another fold. Whoops. Okay. And you need to come back towards the other one. Okay, and you're just going to come up with a triangle. Try and keep it straight. Okay, little triangle. I want to make sure it's going to fit on my piece of fabric. Okay, so there we go. And then we're going to cut off that piece that's left. Okay. Straighten out your, your tree. Okay. Then we're going to put our fabric fix on whatever you think is the wrong side. Cause sometimes the pipe cleaner will have a little bit on one side, you might see the wire more, not usually, but sometimes this particular one does. You can definitely see the wire more on this side. So I'm just going around and I'm holding it so that the glue will go down into the pipe cleaner. And that's how it's going to hold itself to the pipe cleaner. Then I'm going to come over and I'm going to set this down 
on my scrap of fabric. I think that these would make fun earrings as well as little charms. Um, you can go ahead and use these for packages. I just think there's going to be so many things that you're going to want to possibly do. So I'm pulling out a bulb pin. I'm pulling out my stars. And I did make a little trunk out of a scrap piece of um, craft paper. Okay, and then once you think that you're about dry, you can go ahead and cut around your fabric. Okay. I found this was easier than uh, cutting the fabric and trying to put my tree on the, the cut fabric. This was easier, okay? So then I'm going to go ahead and put my bulb pin. And um, I did also find that it was easier to add your trunk before your... Uh, before this all dried. So add your trunk. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue on the tip of my tip of my trunk. And I'm gonna come down at the bottom and add the trunk. You don't have to add the trunk. I'm trying to get it between the fabric and the of course you can put your trunk on before you put the the tr the, the glitter. Okay, so there's that. Then I want to do the bulb pin. Okay, and I'm going to go from the back to the front. Okay, and there's my little ornament. Okay. And then I'm going to add my little tree. And I did go get these silver um, stars out of my pink stuff because who knows if I'm even going to get my pink Christmas. Who knows if I'm even going to get to that stuff. So there's that. My trunk wants to move. Okay. And then we're going to come in and add some bling of course this is optional because your tree is really cute already and then I'm going to go ahead and add bling my bling attaches really well to the to the tinsely thing so I'm I'm, util I'm utilizing that. I'm kind of staggering it down. But then you're going to see, we're going to have to put one here, I think, on this tree. Um, and that's okay. We'll go down here. So you've got kind of like a little diagonal going on. And then we'll put this one right there. Okay. So we have a little tree charm that we can add to our journal. So a card and a tree charm. Hooray. And then next. Oh, I did want to show you something. <laughs> so if you're looking for. Um, oh, these are all tangled together. I have a project I'm getting ready to do, but. Um, if you're looking for small tinsel, um, garlandy stuff, they use it to wrap around a lot of the, the things at Dollar Tree. Okay. So, cause I haven't seen the little, just so that you can buy it this year, but I wanted to show you that you can, um, uh, so they're using a small thin one. To wrap these. I also have a Santa sleigh, but I want to use the Santa sleigh. I want to put a Mr. and Mrs. Santa in it. Okay, so the next one I have is 
um, I'm going to take, let's go ahead and grab that. And so this is the Tim Holtz Christmas pad from a couple years ago. And I want the music page. Okay. And I want this, this stuff from Dollar Tree. Okay, so it's a moss sheet. And I think you could do this on book page. It would be really cool. You know what? Let's check out. So a book page I think would be really cool. I just needed to find a book page that Oh, this is a different. That's not my cookbook. Sorry. Um but a book with Christmas words would be really cool. And I don't have a book with Christmas words at this time. So turning it this way, you see, this is what you have for your moss sheet. And I'm going to go ahead and I think I want to use just like half of this. As a matter of fact, we'll cut it. This is going to go into my, um, my December daily. So... Because usually our tree sits up um, with nothing on it for a few days. <laughs> we get it set up and, um, you know, things, we just, it, we just get so busy. So, um, so I'm thinking that this, this card, remember my December daily um, book is tall. But I'm thinking that this would be cool. Okay, so I'm cutting it. And I'll save that for another project. Wow, this is me It's messy, y'all. It's messy. Okay, so I want it to be not any wider than that. And then I'm going to go ahead and... I was going to fold it to figure out the center, but I think that that's the center, right? Like right there. Okay, so I'm going to put my hand there and I'm just going to go up towards the center. I'm just going to cut up towards the center. There we go. And then I'll cut down the other side. That was a big fluff. <laughs> okay, and you see we've got some other pieces. Okay, this time I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm gonna keep this because I might want it, I might need it to fill in my tree. Okay, so there is my tree out of the moss sheet. This side looks really cool. If you have green burlap, this would look really cool too but I think this is going to be really pretty. Okay. And you could do this and frame it also. Again, you could put it on some Christmas book page. I think that would be really cool. I'm going to go ahead and put a little glue over here. Remember, I don't like to waste anything. We'll put a little down here, and then we'll take what was left... We'll stuff it in there. Let's see if we can. Okay. Clean it off. Okay. And I think this will be fun. Just a plain. Oh, I think I want a trunk on it too. Okay, and this might even be, even be fun if you have a tree that's in the forest or at the lake that you like. I think it would be fun to tell a story about that tree, especially if you go 
This is going to sound funny. If you go visit it <laughs> for, the, for the holiday or during the, during the winter. Okay, I'm going to grab a trunk from this. It's the lottery on the other side, so I think it's okay to, to steal the trunk from there. We'll go ahead and put this down. And of course you could decorate it. It would it would kind of be fun to decorate it. Oh, go ahead. Could go ahead and build another tree out of the the fuzz that's left over. I'm not going to. Okay. But there's that. And a lot of times ours will get its star. It just won't get um and it will have its lights because it comes with its lights. Its lights are, it's pre-lit. That's our big tree. Okay. So there's that. And we do have this from the stickers that we made the other day. There's an old Christmas tree in here. I think we'll do the little dividing it up. Okay. So don't go away. There's still more ideas here. So we put up, so I told you that this year there's a little tiny kitchen tree. And then I have a six foot Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus tree that um, has it's up on something because we have the puppy and Wiley both think that they should steal things and chew on them. So they are they are up for their safety. <laughs> Or it is up for its safety. And then our other tree is nine foot, I think. The tree that goes in the grand room. The one that this will represent. So there's that. And so for our next one, I actually want to use... You know what? We'll use green paper. Okay. And let's go ahead and cut this. We'll cut this as big as this is. <laughs> Okay, so this is just some double-sided green paper from my stash. It says it's Simple Stories. Okay, and I am going to go ahead, I'm going to start down here. And I'm going to put that on, okay? I'm going to put that on the paper in a straight line. And this could be any paper. I just was like, oh, I have that green, that green paper. Okay. So next I'm going to take this piece of the fabric that, that we're using. We'll go ahead and put some glue along the edge of the lace here. Watch this dust get messier and messier. <laughs> okay, and then we'll come up and go along the bottom of this. Okay. 
then I have this lace. So we'll put a little line. So just another variation. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and I'm going to keep putting these pieces down. I'll go ahead and fast forward through this so that we don't take up all your time. And I'll see you in a minute. Well, there we go. So we have, <laughs> we have the beginning of a tree. So I'm gonna take this piece out, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting up towards the top here. This direction. It's a little rough, <laughs> but I like it. Especially if you if you like patchwork stuff. If you're, you know, if you made pillows or something and you've got scraps, I think that this would be fun way to use your scraps and go ahead and give that and of course you can refine this to to fit your your tree needs okay I'm going to put that, that go ahead and add glue here glue all along there we're going to go ahead and push this up underneath here. I like the frayed edges on, on the pieces as well. So, so there is another, another tree idea using the patchwork kind of idea. And remember, I have a really tall book so I'm gonna go ahead and add my star up here and the other thing is I thought that we could add now there are some there is some trim in here and I'm trying to use this up so now this is the same or very similar to the the gold that I like that I've been using so I think I think I can use this and I'm just gonna wrap it around the tree I like this just kind of gives the the illusion of like like that it has lights oh my gosh look at there okay and look at that side okay so let's go ahead and I could tape it if I could find my tape that would be wonderful maybe some washi tape with some glue. So there is another, another tree. 
So really simply, I mean, you've seen me use the, the pieces of the, um, the little bush with the berries that I have for trees, but I also, you could use something like that. And this could be stapled in. Again, you could go ahead and decorate it with something like that if you wanted to. You could also add, this is like um, baby's breath. And I was like, oh my gosh, you could add these like they were snowballs. And um, that would be really fun and super easy. So those are today's tree ideas. And I think they are fun and a little different. So I would love to know which one is your favorite. And I love these. And I think a pair of those would be really fun as earrings. So these are, they're kind of not the same size, but that was my prototype to make sure that I could, I could make it happen. <laughs> Pull all this stuff away. So there is our little, we'll put these guys up here, our little trees. And remember again, my December daily journal is huge. So just to give you an idea, that will take up a whole page for me. Okay, I do have one more idea that I've <laughs> The, it was the main one that I came to, I came to the party with here. And so we are going to take a book page. Okay, so take a book page. We'll put these all over right here. And take a book page and you're going to go ahead and trim it down so that you have the words. Okay, I think it would be fun to use a Christmas book if you have a you know, an old Christmas book that you're tearing up the pages. Um, I think that this would, that would be fun. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've gone to the sides. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fold this. Actually, we need to cut off a piece. So we're going to cut off about, about four inches is what I'm going to do here. Okay. There. Cut off about four inches. I'm going to go ahead and fold it in, in half and just mark it. And that gives me my point. Okay. So I'm going to line up the point and the point. Okay. So I'm going to line up the half and the edge. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut this. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to do the point and the point. And cut that. Okay. And that's going to give me a triangle. I'm going to want three of these. I have, by the magic of everything, I have two more already. Already ready. Ready, ready. And then we're going to want to go ahead and you're going to be shocked. We're going to distress these. Oh, yeah, this one is my new rustic wilderness. It is so wet. <laughs> it's, prob whoop, it's probably the wettest pad that I've ever had. And then we're going to want a piece of scratch paper. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and figure out. So my first two that I did are a little smaller. Now I was thinking about doing the Martha Stewart punch down here just for something different. And so I think we will. Okay, we're going to start. Okay, so if you haven't seen these, they're awesome. They just, you line them up. And you can punch along and get a fun little edge. 
And since I did, did these with the white edge from the book for most of it, And, you know, it's nice to use, it's nice to use your stuff, right? How many of us don't get a chance to use our, our stuff, our tools and things like that? We really tried to do that this year at, during the um, challenges on the Dear Julie Julie channel was to encourage you to use your stuff, okay? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and Okay. We're going to go ahead and I know you're shocked. <laughs> I'm distressing sort of. Okay. There's that. And you just, you can decide, I mean, you can leave the white. We're going to put these on top of each other like this, okay? So you can decide if you want to leave the white white. Okay. So there we go. This brush is from Dollar Tree. They finally had some of the bigger ones when I went. Okay, so for this, now I am going to go ahead and I have... I don't want to use this. I was going to, but I really don't want to use that. I think we'll use... Nope. I was thinking this. from American Crafts. I think it's Joanne, maybe. Oh, there we go. I have, I have this holly paper. It would be really great to put two pieces together. Anyway, I'm thinking, so I'm going to want to go ahead and put this and I want to sew it on. So if I sew it on one sheet and then we can play with the other sheet on sticking them together. And so let's again find out. Okay, so that's our the big one. And... Okay, before I sew it, I'm going to go ahead and go across the bottom. Okay, so going across the bottom of each of the pieces, that'll glue it down. Is that the big one? This is the big one. Okay, so go ahead and glue the middle one, go across. down. I glued the next one across. And put it down. Okay, and then I think we need a trunk of a tree or for the tree. So I'm going to grab a trunk from this Tim Holtz paper that we grabbed a trunk from before. I'm going to make this one a little wider 
and stumpier. Just for something different. Okay, I need to get up under there. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, and a little. So, I think that's pretty middle. Okay, I'm just going to sw swizzle some glue down here. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and draw or sew a line right down there. And here we go. We'll go ahead and cut this. And what I will have is I'll have little pockets around my tree. Okay, so if I take small pictures, I can add small pictures or little things into these places along my tree. Um, I do also want to go ahead and decorate my tree. And there were a couple of words that I wanted to cover. So I think that's, that's the main one. Okay, so I have these stickers from Heidi Swap, And I'm going to go ahead and add those as ornaments. Because I think that will be be fun on my little tree here okay so this gives you another tree idea and this one has pockets and I love pockets and I cannot lie so there we go and we'll just decorate our little tree Have things I'm trying to use up in this box over here and this was one of the things but I wanted it to make sense I don't want to just put things down just to to get rid of them okay I love that I love that silly little tree okay so then of course carry on our theme here we'll add this now the thing is is I have several years of December daily that need just a few things so if I now this one because it's so big I will use this one in this year's what I'll probably do is come and fold this over and that will Oh my gosh, I really like this. Okay, so if I have small pictures um, or little cards or whatever, they can come in little tags, can come in and tell the story. Okay, so I think that that's going to be a lot of fun. And that gave us another tree, which this is the tree that's... <laughs> That started the whole idea for today was this tree right here. And so it's our pocket tree. And you know what? We'll just go ahead and put this stamp in here so that we know that it's, it's the pocket tree. Okay, so it would have, it'll have little pockets. Okay, I love it. Love it put even some fun little this would even be fun to put in something that you're doing happy mail in because you can add the little things so okay there we go our Christmas tree day which one's your favorite what which one is your favorite I don't know. <laughs> I, I think I like them all. So there you go. Um, 
yeah, I need to get back and working on finishing up the party stuff and the sale. Um, I have the things are all, <laughs> it's like, it's all ready for me to just finish it. So that is awesome. I want to thank you all for being here. If you like stuff like this, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. And also check out the Dear Julie Julie DIY Home and Garden channel. Watch for some, um, some Christmas to come there very soon. And I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.